Today I'm going to show you how to repair the electrostatic tweeters inside of a Grundig radio. The first question we need to ask is, is it even worth repairing these electrostatic tweeters? They really only function at the highest frequencies. Really you can, you can hear a little bit of a difference on S and T when people talk, or uh, basically from 8 kilohertz on up. Now most people have a hard time even hearing uh, 15 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz uh, at our age at, at least, and so you have to wonder if it's even worth repairing them. They're not terribly loud. Uh, but they do contribute just a little bit to the sound. The main thing that really goes wrong in these tweeters is really silly. It's a piece of foam that pushes a contact onto the mylar that's been metalized. It's a really simple problem. It's not that hard to fix. It's just a shame that they used foam that deteriorates over time. First, cover the tweeter with tape to keep all those little plastic chips from falling into the uh, piece inside. I've got a little bit on here, a uh, 60 degree chamfer I believe. That there is probably enough to release it completely. Then you just work your way around and do all the others that way. So I've simply drilled out the posts here in order to be remove these brown pieces and uh, this does not have any this one does not have anything connected to the other side because there is a copper post a copper wire here uh, on the that goes to the back side and as has been noted uh, on some forums there's a piece of foam in here which is disintegrating on contact so we'll have to remove that and this piece of uh, of uh, foam of wadding here is to protect the back side of the tweeter, which is metalized with a very thin coating of copper, supposedly. Uh, and it is the contact, this metal contact here, which is perhaps not being pushed on hard enough by this piece of felt that we may need to rectify. But you can see the metalization here is quite nice. Uh, so it's there's a good chance this tweeter will still work if we can get this contact in the right way to touch. So we'll clean it up because it's probably oxidized on the back side here and then try sticking it back in and adding a new piece of foam and see if that works. So I've put a new piece of felt here where the old piece of foam was and we're simply going to uh, attach this back on and give it a try. I cleaned the copper contact with the deoxid fader loop here uh, to shine it up. It was actually in pretty good condition. So let's see if we can get this all back together again and give it a test. can definitely hear the, uh, the tweeter works now. I can definitely hear the tweeter works now. So when I touch it on there, we get a little bit of a staticky sound, which is an indication there's sound coming out of the tweeter. And it's a little bit subtle, but you can hear the T's and the S's uh, from the singer coming out of that tweeter pretty clearly. So, uh, wow, I guess that's it. We just have to clean it up and uh, put a felt pad in there. So start working on that second tweeter now. <laughs> 